communication modes with the NPTEL office. How all do we keep in touch? There are 5,600 colleges. So how do we keep in touch with our SPOCs from these colleges? So we have WhatsApp groups for SPOCs of every state. So currently we are running about 18 WhatsApp groups. Uh, for instance, Tamil Nadu has three groups, Maharashtra has two groups and so on that is happening. So on these, the SPOCs are added to those WhatsApp groups and we put out all the information, alerts, whatever posters, messages we have to send. We also put it on the WhatsApp group. We alert them whenever an important mail goes out so that they actually see it. So that is the first part. Second one, we have a Google group for all the SPOCs called uh, NOC SPOC at nptel.iitm.ac.in. On this, all the 5,600 SPOCs are there and we can send a mail to them as a broadcast. They can also write on this, which helps them to interact with the other SPOC. So this is a second mode. The third one, we have a ID called local chapter at nptel.iitm.ac.in. This is the email ID of the local chapter team that interacts with all the SPOCs. So once you send an email to this ID, the team will help you with any issues that you might have with respect to say your college, your login or some other data etc that is there. So if it is an individual issue pertaining only to you, please write to local chapter at nptel.iitm.ac.in. The LC team also has a phone number which we have published and you can call them on that. You can call any of us here. Uh, many of us are available to handle the local chapter queries that come in from the various SPOCs. Every Thursday at 5 p.m. their NPTEL office is conducting a one hour G meet which is open to all SPOCs who can come and join. If you have queries that are specific, you can get it cleared there in the GMAT or we just walk you through the new features that have happened, any new initiatives that are there. We also discuss that so that you get an idea of what is happening in the NPTEL project. And uh, most of the information is already shared on the NPTEL local chapter website. So you can go through that also. There is public information, there is information inside your login and that should be quite more than sufficient for you to know about whatever is happening on the NPTEL front. And like we have said, the SPOCs have access to this kind of data. So on Swayam, SPOCs have a login to see enrollment information, assignment marks and mentor setting. And on NPTEL website, the SPOCs get access to enrollment data, exam registration data, hall tickets and center information, marks scored by the uh, people under the local chapter and their certificates the FTP certificates, detailed information about learners in the college, certificates of local chapters, box, mentor, rating, etc. Fee waiver selection document upload for it. Also, the first letter that you will send to us saying we want to establish a local chapter and our acknowledgement of the same, those letters also inside your SPOC login. And there's a public page like I showed you already that every local chapter we maintain on the website. So this is all the communication modes. Some of them are public, some of them are individual that we keep pushing and we keep interacting with you all. Apart from all of this, every six months, we also conduct in-person meetings in the four zones. Normally in the south zone, we do it at IIT Madras. West zone, we do it at IIT Bombay. North zone, IIT Kanpur organizes it normally in Delhi or Kanpur. And in the east zone, IIT Kharagpur or IIT Gauhati will be doing the workshop. So here, every six months, we invite the SPOCs to actually come in person so that we can interact, we can meet, we can discuss any issues from your side, from our side and see how to resolve it so that the entire NPTEL certification effort, which is actually a ecosystem of so many stakeholders, right? There is the NPTEL office. Behind the NPTEL office are the faculty, the teaching assistants, the various institutes that are offering courses. And then we have the local chapters. There are students there, there are faculty members there. There is the other audience of industry professionals or uh, people not affiliated to local chapters. There are industries that are working with NPTEL. Their employees are also learning. They're also giving back to NPTEL in multiple ways. Then there is the Ministry of Education, which is supporting this entire effort for us and ensuring that the enrollment to all of these courses is free, that people are able to learn for free by giving us enough funding to maintain all the courses.